The IE controllers protect equipment from unwanted, damaging or dangerous situations. If the controller detects such a situation, an alarm is triggered in the system. These alarms need acknowledgement and action by the operator. Let's look at alarms on the IE display. If an alarm is triggered, the status LED changes from green to flashing red, orange or yellow. And an alarm notification is shown. To quickly access the active alarms, use the Notification Center button. Here you can see both alarms and events. You can see the alarm name, the action, and if configured, the alarm severity color. Red is high, orange is medium, and yellow is low. You can directly action any alarm from this list. Simply select the alarm and use action. You can also open the alarms page. Here you have more detailed information for each alarm. You can see the action taken, set points if applicable, and more. To see further information on any alarm, select the alarm and use Info. Search for a specific alarm by using the search option. Acknowledge a selected alarm quickly with the Acknowledge option. You can also select several alarms to acknowledge together by using SELECT. The controller continues to monitor the status for all alarms. The state of an alarm is shown by the symbol. A full list of all these symbols can be found in the operator's manual. Alarms can only be cleared if the alarm condition which triggered the alarm is resolved and the alarm has been acknowledged by the operator. Some alarms can include a latch. These have yellow symbols. This is an additional layer of protection and means that the latch must be reset before the alarm action is removed. A latched alarm must have the alarm condition cleared and be acknowledged before you can reset the alarm latch. To clear a latched alarm, use More, then Reset All Latches. As with all other events that occur during operation, alarms and actions taken are recorded in the log.